I'm gonna show you how to make fresh ricotta. Are you ready? I've got a pan, so I'm gonna put in two liters of milk and we want a low temperature, right? Cause we don't wanna scald the milk. No skimmed milk. You want the full fat milk. Now, stick a thermometer in your milk and just let it sit there. What we wanna do is bring the milk up to 86 degrees Celsius. The other thing that we're gonna add is 1% of the weight of your milk in salt. Put that in while it's heating up and that's gonna give your ricotta cheese a really nice base flavor. Keep an eye on our milk. There we are, 86 degrees. So, vinegar, straight in, all the way around. And you'll see straight away, it starts to change color. So we just wanna give it a little mix around with a thermometer. And now we wanna take the temperature up to 90 degrees. The one thing we don't wanna do is boil this, you know? As soon as it hits 90, get it off. There we are. And we turn the heat off. And simply, all we have to do now is just let that sit for 20 minutes. So what I thought would be nice is to show you a couple of dishes with ricotta. I've got Alfie's uh, cherry chompa. This is the best cherry pita I have ever used in my life. Have a look at this, it is brilliant. Put it in its little mouth, press the thing, and look, it comes out, how good? And the cherry's in the bottom. Stop it, and it's still got the stock on it, so it looks really nice. So we're just gonna get a few of these ready to go. Now, I've got some hazelnuts, just freshly roasted, and we're just gonna give them a crush. Now, the other thing that cherries love is basil. So just grab some basil leaves and just tear them up. So now we're gonna add a touch of salt, a splosh of vinegar, and a touch of black pepper. And then we're just gonna give that a little mix up. All right. We'll leave that to the side. And then for the other one, a little pan on, medium heat, some extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just gonna pick some of these beautiful little baby king brown mushrooms straight into a pan. And then we're gonna grab some thyme. So just pop your thyme in along with the mushrooms. Some salt and some black pepper. Now, spring peas, delicious. So I don't want to cook them heaps. So none of this pre-blanching or anything like that. And if you can imagine, we're just gonna half cook them pretty much. Some lemon with mushrooms and thyme and especially peas. I just put lemon juice all over my shirt. Look at that. Great job, Jock. All right, let's have a little taste. Yum. All right, looking good. Perfect. All right, so we're ready on that now as well. Ricotta, it's had 20 minutes to cool down. So now we wanna scoop all of the curds. You just gotta be really, really delicate. See that, how it just completely separates out? How cool does that look? I'm just gonna put my curds as gently as I can into a bowl and I'll spoon them out of there into the little baskets. So just be really gentle. Just try not to disturb the curds too much. Try and keep them sort of whole. And the more whole that you keep them, the softer and more tender and the more moisture is kept in the cheese. All right, I've pretty much got most of it out. And then we're gonna fill up our little mold. So just fill it up. And as you fill it up, just give it a little, little sugar and it will get the cheese, all the curds, all the way down the bottom. And just overfill them a little bit because they will sink. And all these little holes, you can see the holes in the side, that lets all of the extra whey out and it sets the cheese beautifully. So have a look at them. They've been overfilled slightly. And over the next hour, that'll drop down to be an almost level sort of cheese. Now you have to be a little bit gentle with the cheese ricotta, it's a little bit soft, so Get your cheese and just sort of give it a little, a little shake like that and you'll feel it separate from the container. And as it does, put it onto the plate. Give it a sugar. Look at that. Gorgeous looking cheese. What I love doing, two little ones like this, 
cut it open so as you can see the inside. And then what we're gonna do is put our, our fillings cascading out of the bottom of it. So remember, peas, mushroom, thyme. It was really simple, nothing crazy going on here. This is absolutely delicious. So for this one, a little lick of extra virgin olive oil around the cheese. Extra squeeze of lemon juice on the ricotta itself. Some black pepper. Done. So now we've got the cherries and our basil. Same thing again, just cascade it down and off. I like having the stalks still on there, it's quite fun. And then the juice. The combination of the red wine vinegar and the cherry all macerated together, yum. And because I always forget something, the hazelnuts. And now, there you have two delicious ricotta dishes that you can make at home in 20 minutes. Get after this because it's a brilliant recipe. Thanks for watching, and if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.